Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the second Maiden's Tragedy and we get to hear from Votarius one more time today in Act 2, Scene 2. Now Votarius is in lust with Anselmus' wife who is also attracted to him and she asked her maid Leonella to make sure that they stay apart but Leonella's boyfriend Bellarius is enemies with Votarius so Leonella and Bellarius want to make sure that Votarius gets to sleep with Anselmus' wife so then they can do this whole blackmail thing. But then Anselmus came back from being away and he sees his wife and he hears from Vo uh, Votarius that yes, she's been faithful. So he's like, okay, everything's forgiven and they, they go off. And in yesterday's monologue, we got to hear Votarius sort of lamenting the fact that, uh, that Anselmus has returned and everything is hunky-dory between them because he now finds himself resenting Anselmus and extremely jealous of the relationship that he has with his wife. And as he's talking about that, he sees Bellarius go sneaking across. Now we, the audience, know that Bellarius is going to see Leonella, but he doesn't know that. He thinks Bellarius is sneaking in to go be with Anselmus' wife. So he now thinks that she's a strumpet and will sleep with anyone and everyone that happens across her path. So when Anselmus uh, comes back out, he's like, you know what, I, I wish that you would come out a second ago because I just saw Bellarius going in and he was going kind of that way. And Anselmus is like, what could he possibly be doing? And Votarius does say at one point, he's like, well, you know, to be perfectly honest, your wife wasn't necessarily a thousand percent honest and faithful and chaste. She maybe wavered a little bit. So then Anselmus is like, oh my God, he's going up to see her. So Anselmus goes running off to chase after Bellarius, leaving Vitarius on the stage by himself. And Vitarius gets to say, he takes my work and toils to bring me ease. This use I'll make on him. His care shall watch to keep all strange thieves out. Wells, I familiarly go in and rob him, like one that knows the house. But how has rashness and my jealousy used me? Out of my vengeance to mine enemy, confessed her yielding. I have locked myself from mine own liberty with that key. Revenge does no man good but to his greatest harm. Suspect and malice, like a mingled cup, made me soon drunk. I knew not what I spoke, and that may get me pardon. So he starts off all happy now that Anselmus went running after Bellarius because he's like, actually, Anselmus is going to chase away anybody else that might want to try courting his wife at this point, but I'll still be able to sneak in there like like nothing. So she and I are still good. But then he has a moment of realization where he's like, I said... I said that she wavered. Um, he says that he confessed her yielding, but he's like, I confessed that she wasn't 1000% faithful to him. He's like, oh no, I've, I've sort of undone myself. And he's like, maybe I can spin this a little bit. So my suspicion of him and my malice towards Bellarius, maybe that, maybe I can get away with saying like, I didn't know what I was talking about when that all happened. So he's like, oh, maybe, maybe I can still salvage this. At which point Anselmus comes back in with Leonella and he's like holding a dagger to her throat. And he's like, she's in on it. She smuggled him into her chamber and then he escaped out the window before I could get to him. And she's like, I swear, I swear it wasn't, it, this was none of that. This was none of that. So Votarius ends up leaving to, uh, to go see what's, see that everything is okay. And Anselmus is left on stage with Leonella and she's like, I promise he wasn't here to see your wife. He was here to see me. He's my husband. And Anselmus is like, I can't believe you. And I, I, I won't believe you and everything like that. And she's like, I have a secret that I can tell. And if you find out that it's true, then you have to let me go. And you have to believe me that Bellarius was not here to see your wife. He was here to see me. And Anselmus is like, okay, well, what's this secret? And she says, your wife and Votarius are lying to you. They want to be together. And he's like, oh, this is terrible. So he goes running away to see if that's going to be a thing. And she's like, okay, all of the stuff, Bellarius is okay. He got away. We're setting them up. He's, Votarius is going to be, you know, screwed over by this whole thing. She's like, all right, everything is on track. So, and that's the end of act two, scene two. 
So we have loads of backstabbing going on. We have people who can't keep secrets, people divulging their own secrets, all sorts of love triangles and, and craziness going on, but things are starting to maybe get concerning for some specific people being Votarius and the wife, maybe? What sort of repercussions are they going to have to face now that Anselmus is on to them? So, and do we think Leonella is gonna get out of this whole thing unscathed? Who knows? Anyway, come on back tomorrow for more. I'll see you then. Mwah.